Hello and welcome to CG7 Containers Demo. The agenda will be to look at Linux containers, C groups and namespaces, advantages of Linux containers, real life use cases of Linux containers, and the demo. LXE is one of the implementation of container based technology, CG7 LXE. LXE containers provide lightweight virtualization that isolates process and resources without complexities of full virtualization. Inside the container it looks like a separate VM while from host it looks like normal process, init process running on a machine. So this is the comparison between hypervisor and containers. In containers we don't have hypervisor layers which makes uh, containers light and fast. Containers are built on top of two t Linux technologies that are coordinated to provide the illusion of running of a separate machine. With the help of C groups, we can limit and allocate the resources. These are the available set of resources to limit. CPU, network related and memory related resources we can limit. Namespaces isolates the resources from each other so that um, separate container looks like a separate machine. So these are the available set of resource uh, namespaces. The UTS namespace, IPC, PID, PROC namespace, network namespace. With the help of namespace, we can have application isolation and private network names, namespace between containers. These are some use cases of Linux containers. We can use uh, Linux container as a platform, as a service. We can create sandbox environments for development and testing. Uh, Google is also using containers to run their services. And same use cases as, as VM, but with less overhead and better performance, as they are light and fast. Now we'll go to the demo part. So this is my CG7 host, and I have created two containers on top of it. So we'll check the status of those containers. So this is stopped. Now I will start the container with the daemon process. I'm opening two separate windows okay so this is yet to come We can see here from host that so LXE start VM calls a init process and the container is created. Similarly for the VM0 init process is called. So each container has separate namespaces. They cannot see each other's processes. They can they have separate proc namespace. They have separate network namespace as we can see here. And and root file system of containers can be accessed from host.
so suppose if um, any web server is running on container we can access the web pages from host and we can change the web pages from host no need to go to the container and do that we can do directly from host and uh, and as i said we can have process isolation between the containers so one container can run apache apache based web, ser web server and uh, other container can run the sql web uh, database and uh, we can limit the resources also suppose if apache web server wants uh, more bandwidth network bandwidth and input output disk bandwidth then we can increase the bandwidth for that container we'll start with uh, limiting the cpu so just see the pid of container one okay and uh, lxc and c group uh, helps to uh, limit the resources suppose if i have eight core cpu and i want to dedicate three cpus to one container then we can give like this so for demo purpose i am giving uh, VM0 only to second number CPU. So and we'll attach the last last used CPU. So it has started running on second number CPU. Similarly, if I want to give four, again I am attaching. It started on four number. Let's check the network bandwidth. Now I am limiting the network bandwidth of VM0 container to 40 MB. So I will run a script here. And uh, here I will attach the class ID to container 1 on which we have limited the traffic with the uh, traffic shipping command. use tennis to one class ID so the VM0 container should now show 40 MB so as we can see that the limit network bandwidth has reduced similarly we can limit the disk IO bandwidth also so it is to zero is the major number and minor number of the disk device and here I am limiting the write speed onto disk to 1 MB per second. So here I am limiting the 
write speed of disk to 1 MB per second for container 0 and here we will test the speed so we can see that the write speed is 1 MB per second So LXC freeze will freeze all the process running on on the container and the process will be blocked until we call LXC unfreeze. So LXC freeze we cannot do anything on container until we call LXC unfreeze. Again our container is back. So we have seen uh, Linux containers. These are lightweight, resource fan friendly. Uh, resource allocation is easy. They reduce the hardware and power cost. And in compared to VM, we can have more number of containers. Thank you.